you know what? It's dessert time. I've had my dinner. I'm not a cake person. I'm not a pie person or ice cream. I like liquid dessert. So that means I need what? I need a beer. And what's a great dessert beer? Well, hell, porter's great for dessert. And what am I going to do to fill my dessert glass? No plate, of course. I'm going to go to Deschutes Brewery out of Bend, Oregon, US of A, and I'm going to have their Black Butte Porter, which is one of their mainline beers. Yes, we like mainline beers, if they're good. Anyways, where did I get this beer? They don't distribute Deschutes in Maryland, do they, DJ? Hell no. I got it from Clement's Homebrew. Shout out to Kevin and Christian. Yay, yay. Watch their channel. I'll put the info down here in the, you know, notes section kind of thing. Anyways, what about Black Butte Porter? Black Butte Porter is an American style porter. Like I said, it's a year round serving, 5.2% ABV, and 30 IBUs. They're using five malts in this beer and three types of hops. So it's supposed to be delicious. How do I know this? I watched a, a, a I guess, a YouTube video review by my buddy Ewart at, um, Strange Bruisings. I'll put his info down here too. Check out Ewart's channel, man. He may, he does awesome beer reviews. He's a newer guy on the scene, but man, he, he knows his shit. He's done over 500 untapped reviews, I guess you call them, or untapped tastings or whatever. I don't, I don't do untapped. I, I obsess out here on YouTube. Anyways, so without further ado, we got this at proper temperature. We're about 50 degrees. Let's pop it open, get in the glass, and get this dessert in my belly. Oh, nice hiss off the top of this one. Yes. If you, you may recall that I got uh, this Black Butte from the Mega Beer trade that I did with uh, Kevin and Christian. That was a big one. Wow, this is pouring darker than a lot of stouts that I've had. Got a big old head on this. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, it's really dark. It's not totally opaque. I'm seeing some red glints and some brown glints coming through this on the sides. We got really super tight microscopic bubbles all around this beer. We've got a solid two finger head, no hockey puck, no nothing. This is like the head almost on a Guinness. When I swirl it, we're not really getting any alcohol legs up at the top. Maybe a little tiny bit. I mean, it's a 5.2 percenter. It's a session beer. Um, really, really nice looking beer. Take a look at that, guys. Got that khaki off-white head on that really dark body in the camera. It probably looks like it's fully opaque to you, but there are some ruby hues that come through it. Let's get a nose on this and see what kind of a room we've got. I'm, I'm down for a porter today. How about you? Maybe you are. Let's see. Wow, big coffee notes. A lot of chocolate. Dark and milk chocolate. I'm getting some like caramel in there from the malt, a little bit of vanilla actually also. But the dominant aroma is dark roasted coffee, not super dark like Sumatra dark, but like fairly dark like a, a mainline Starbucks brew. Really nice smell of beer, real inviting. I'm ready to dive into this one guys. Cheers. Wow. That's nice. Real chocolatey, a lot of coffee. The aftertaste is sort of a combination of the coffee and the caramel at the same time, which is really pretty cool. The body is medium to medium thin. It's verging on medium thin. Um, I don't have this super cold, so I'm tasting a lot of it right now. Look at that, by the way, not to digress too far, look at that glass lacing, guys. I suspect it as much. You can taste this as a quality brew. There was no shortcuts done making this beer. It's a very tasty beer. The dominant flavors are of dark chocolate and, and dark roast coffee. Not super dark roast coffee, but really prevalent. The thing that's impressive is I know there's no coffee addition in this. It's all done with, with uh, roast levels of grain, which I think is really cool when brewers do that. And they can get that much coffee flavor out of it. Very drinkable beer, very sessionable beer, and <clears throat> this is a really nice dessert tonight. So, what do I think of this beer? Well, the bitterness is spot on, okay? It's at 30 IBUs, it's right there, really balanced, bounces off the sweetness, and that's the thing about this beer for me, it's real balanced. The mouthfeel could be a little heavier for me, that's the only thing that detracts from it. 
and the carbonation is right there too. So it's it's a really solid porter. That's my opinion. Super solid and balanced. So what do the other guys think? Ray Beer is giving it a 97. Beer Advocate's giving it a 94. I don't know if I can rate it that high. It is a it is an A level beer. The uh, let me see if the dates on the bottle. Yes, the dates on the bottle also. So I know it's fresh. I know I'm drinking it in date. I'm gonna give this a 93. Um, real solid beer. Really tasty. And um, I would drink this again, definitely, if I could get it again. But uh, I don't get this beer around here. And I can only imagine what their, I can't remember what their anniversary version of this is. They have an imperial version of this, too, which is probably pretty rock star. But anyways, guys, get an A from me. Really tasty beer. And remember what we got to do. We got to think globally. We got to drink locally. We got to support the craft beer movement. We got to help like guys like Deschutes grow because you know I was geeking out on their abyss stout. Uh, with Paul at PA Brew News and my good buddy Johnny. So let's keep this thing growing. Let's keep the diversity coming so we can keep drinking more and more different beers because that's just fun as hell. So until the next time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a million for watching. And that's a big peace out.